misfit, a person who has been estranged or excluded, unlike one's own. Special, distinguished, or different from what is ordinary or usual. Rebel, to resist or defy an authority or generally accepted convention. Prodigy, a person with exceptional talents or powers. Different, not identical, separate or distinct. Father, the begetter of a child, male parent, one who functions in a paternal capacity with regard to another. God, the first person of the Trinity, a priest or clergyman in the Roman Catholic or Anglican churches to acknowledge responsibility for. Spell, to write or name in their correct sequence the letters that form a word or words. Words supposed to have magic power, the state of being influenced by this. Fascination, attraction. Sartorial, of or relating to a tailor, tailoring or tailored clothing. Sartorial pulchritude, physical beauty and appeal as it relates to tailored clothing. Eccentric, deviating from recognized customary character or practice. Peculiar, queer, weird. Dress, clothing, apparel, a one-piece outer garment for women, outer covering or appearance, a style of clothing. Word, a sound or combination of sounds that symbolizes and communicates something that is said an utterance, remark, or comment, a command or direction. Vision, something that is or has been seen, the mystical experience of seeing as if with the eyes of the supernatural or a supernatural being, a person or thing of extraordinary beauty. Girl, a female who has not yet attained womanhood, an unmarried young woman, a daughter, a sweetheart. Boy, a male child or youth, a grown man, fellow. Holy, belonging to, derived from, or associated with a divine power, sacred. I used to have a dream I was being chased by an angel. I never knew what she looked like because I was too busy running. She couldn't have looked like my mother because my mother is very bad. The angel was mad at me because I seized her dress. She told me that if I kept it, I wouldn't be able to get into heaven. But I didn't care. I kept on running. Geek brainiac! Hey, there's a fire over here! Take this, more ass! Jackal butt! Shrimp! You little pansy! Mr. Battaglia, you know, if you were more normal, we wouldn't have to go through this so often. Why can't you act like all the other little boys? Huh? Then you wouldn't have so many enemies. You might make some friends. It's 
So here we are, once again, faced with the unsavory prospect of having to call your mother. I don't like calling your mother, Bruno. To tell you the truth, I don't really like your mother. Why do the two of you always insist on inspiring such heartfelt disdain? Can I use the bathroom? All right. Consolata! Yes? Have you finished typing up the memos for the other sisters regarding the spelling bees? I'm almost done. Type faster. And get Bruno a hall pass. And when Mrs. Battaglia gets here, I don't want her within 50 feet of my office. And this time, I mean it. But I can't stop her from... Understand? <laughs> but, you know... Just... That'll be all, sister. Come on. Shut the door on your way out, sister. Oh, poppy, poppy. You're the Pope. You're the top banana. La da da. Da 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 da. -da. Sometimes when I closed my eyes, I could pretend I was in heaven. I could pretend I was with two angels, and they were my parents. We held hands, we laughed and had fun. But then the father angel let go. Why did he go, Mom? Mom? Mom! Bruno! Where are you? Come on, baby, let's go. Mommy's got bingo tonight, come on. your mother? I don't know. Did everything come out all right? No. It didn't? No. Well, what's the matter? It's, it's all plugged up and cloistered. Oh, my God. Where? Show me. Here and here. Oh, my God. You got to see the nurse. Don't move. I'll get the pass. You can't go in there. Angela, if you threaten me again, I'm calling the police. Then you better do something more about those kids picking on my son. I'm sorry, but I've done everything I can. If Bruno wants people to stop picking on him, then he's going to have to start taking matters into his own hands. How is he supposed to do that? By not acting like such a little sassy. How could you be so friggin' heartless? I'm not heartless. I'm a Catholic nun. You don't have a Catholic bone in your goddamn body. Is that a threat? You're oh, friggin' right, it's a threat. That's it, I'm calling the cops. If I were you, I'd do more than call the cops. I'd get on this big black phone of yours and I'd call the boat. Sometimes I prayed for a good angel to come and take me away. But no matter how hard I prayed, it never happened. Hey, Bruno, are you a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Ignore them. Please ignore them. Little minds, little bodies. Little minds, little bodies. Little minds, big bodies. Look, they look the fat lady out in the circus. Look at her waddle. Come on, Sidney. Let's watch the car tilt. <laughs> 
Chief Caruso at waiting. Pop, pop. Let's watch the tires pop. Pop, pop, pop. She's going backwards. The fat fuck can't even try. <laughs> So how was school today? Fine. Let's go find some beauty. <laughs> okay. Coronation Pink just came in today. What do you say, Ang? She wanted to give it a shot. Okay. Oh, oh my God, that is so you. What do you think? Not bad. So, how's the dress business treating you, Ang? I've got three due by Friday. I haven't started one. Really? Oh, look, we have lipstick too that matches. Coronation pink. Look at this. Isn't it a beautiful color? Mm, and it comes like in it. a nice gold tone compact that's all faceted. I just love facets, yes. don't you? This and we have matching nail polish. Give me your hand. Oh, no, I don't want to ruin your manicure. Don't want to ruin mine either. Here, kid, how about it? So, guess who came in this morning? Who? A certain tramp who happens to be dating your ex-husband. Hmm. Did she buy anything? She sure did. What'd she get? Nail polish. What color? Coronation pink. What else? Oh, well, a little blush. What color? Coronation pink. She bought the polish, she bought the blush, and she bought the lipstick. I'll take two of everything. It's too overpowering. What the hell are you talking about? That ain't overpowering. Let's go. So soon? Yeah. What's going on? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, come on. What about the blush and the polish? Charge it to the tramp. Hello, can I help you? Five double burgers with cheese and bacon Excuse rare. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you repeat that a little louder? Please? Five double burgers rare with cheese and louder. bacon. Five double burgers rare with cheese and bacon, six clam strips, lots of tartar sauce, three large fries, well done extra ketchup, and two orders of mozzarella sticks. What do you want? Not hungry. You should eat something before you go to hockey practice. I don't want to go to hockey practice. You have to go. Your father's department is the team sponsor. But I'm not any good. That's because you never eat. I'm not hungry. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, are you finished? Also, Four extra crispy apple pies, a la mode, warmed, and a large Diet Coke. That'll be 37.50, ma'am. Please drive around. Thank you for your order. Pass the fuck around! Where's our goalie? Where's the taglia? Now, when you mention me to your father, I want you to study the expression on his face and memorize every detail and report it back to me. But he doesn't make an expression. Look closer. It's subtle. <sighs> now, wish me luck, even though I'm going to win tonight. Good luck. You too. Bye, baby.
G6. G6 not. She's half in the bag. Oh, oh God oh. damn. She's Look drunk again. Day. Can't you tell? I-19. Oh, 65. Oh, 99. No, oh, 66. Yeah. And 31. Oh, 70. Bingo cards are $1.97, not $1.95. Give me a finger, B15. B6. I hey, Donna Marie. Oh, Christ. Thank you, Mother. Keep an eye on her. I don't want any trouble. Hey, Donna. Look, just in case she doesn't hear me when I yell bingo, I brought my lucky bell. Oh, let's hear it. 52. Oh. Is that bell legal? N32. That bitch is wearing coronation pink. I can't believe your son was married to that. G50. Yeah, well, I got him now. A lot of people have had him. I don't think that bell is legal. Angela, there are no cowbells allowed oh, in the bingo hall. Oh. What about her? She's got a bell. The only one I see is the one you're holding. I'm surprised oh, she ain't wearing it around her neck. Another crock like that, and I'll use it to wring your neck. All right, that's enough. Come on, come on, give me the bell, Angela. No. Angela, I'm no. 28. She's just jealous because Dino left her for me. Dino did not leave me for that B friend. Oh, yes, he did, well, sweetie. He was always no. messing around. And who would want to be married to a fat cow like you when he could marry a body like this? Four. Stop it. Good Elephant. Job. That's enough. Bitch. I mean it. Tank. Step aside. <laughs> Mother of God. Uh-oh. Angela. Oh, my God, she's going to kill me. Bingo. <laughs> You think he's dead? I don't know. Kick him. I think you better leave now. But she fainted before I got to her. Just take your cowbell and go. Donna, Donna, wake up. Sit down. Show's over. Donna, wake up. Uh, I'm going to kill her. I'm sorry I fell again. Hi, baby. How was hockey practice? Fine. Are you going to help me tonight? Nope. Hello. Did Bruno block any goals? 
No. He didn't block any goals. What'd he do? I'd rather talk about what you did today. What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean. She started it. I'm not talking about your little fight with Donna Marie. At approximately 2.30 this afternoon, a 1970 yellow Cadillac convertible tried to mow down a bunch of kids in front of St. Anthony's Catholic Grammar School. That wasn't me. Pink interior, peacock feather down the side, license plate D-I-V-A. It was an accident. Cut the crap, Angela. What is in your brain? What are you thinking? Why do you constantly humiliate and embarrass me? You're always thinking of yourself. What about us for a change? Look, I don't want Bruno anywhere near that hockey arena anymore. And if you, if you go within a two-mile radius of that school, I will personally arrest you. Well, we didn't hit anybody. What is that? What? What he's got on. It's a nightshirt. No, it's not. It's a dress. It's a nightgown. What's he doing in a nightgown? Going to sleep. I thought we said no more of that stuff. You said no more of that stuff. What kind of little boy goes to bed in a nightgown? One who plays hockey. He doesn't play hockey. And he's not going to play anymore. Why not? Because he stinks. He'll get better. No, no, he won't, Angela. How can you say that? He'll never get better. Well, maybe if you were more of a father and a husband. I'm not your husband anymore, goddammit. I wish I never was. You didn't mean that. Yes, I did. Look what you've let yourself become. You're 450 pounds and your little boy sleeping in a dress. How do you expect me to feel? I am through being embarrassed and humiliated by the both of you. I was taught we were all born with original sin and would never achieve forgiveness. I wondered what my sin was. What book are we going to read tonight? I don't want to read. Oh, come on. How about a couple pages from the dictionary? No, thank you. It's Random House, unabridged. No. Don't you want to prepare for the spelling bee? I'm prepared. Maybe we should get you some pajamas. Fine. I think I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. Do you think I should? Yes. He used to read to us poetry. And he used to sing opera. He sang us to sleep. Do you remember? No. Good night, baby. Good night. dreams, baby.
knows what you wear can bring God closer to you. But sometimes what you want to wear can separate you from people. Enough from everyone. Bruno, take your seat. Okay, Maserati, you know the drill. And you, young lady. I know you're new here at St. Anthony's, and it might have been permitted at your old school, but here, we do not play cowboys and Indians in the classroom. Give me the guns. No. What did you say to me? I said no. If you do not give me those guns, you will have to sit in a corner for the rest of the day facing the wall, and you will not be able to participate in the spelling bee. Good. I hate spelling. First of all, it's not spelling. It has a G on the end of it. It's not spelling. It's spelling. I hate spelling. Well, I ain't spelled ing because I ain't giving you my guns. A I N T ain't. Give me the guns. I said no. If you do not give me those guns, you are going to be very, very sorry. Not as sorry as you look. Okay. In the beginning, there was the Word, and the Word was God. I used to believe that if I knew all the words, I could talk to God and God could talk to me. But the more words I learned, the further away from God I seemed to get. Predacious. P-R-E-D-A-S-I-O-U-S. Predacious. That is incorrect. Bruno, it's your turn. The Word, once again, predacious. Mm. Predacious. P R E D A C I O U S. Predacious. That is correct. Mm. Patricia, it's your turn. Your word is apocalypse, as in Francis Ford Coppola's yes. Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse. <laughs> you ain't never gonna catch me. <laughs> 
Apocalypse. A P P O C A L Y P. Knock it off. I told you so. Keep your hands up. L Y P S E. Apocalypse. That is incorrect. Sometimes on Earth, you can find something that resembles a little piece of heaven. And sometimes on Earth, a little piece of heaven can find you. Hi, Bruno. Remember me? Yeah. Did you eat your lunch up there? Yeah. Guess why I ate mine? Mother Superior's office. Hey, that's right. She took my hat. But I hid my guns under my skirt. Do you like guns? No. Hey, how's the spelling bee go? Fine, I won. I knew it. I knew you were smart the minute I laid eyes on you. Hey, where are you going? Hey, Bruno, do you want to walk a dog with me after school? No. Well, don't you want to be my friend? No, I don't. Why? Because you're too flamboyant. I don't want another flamboyant woman in my life. I'm just expressing myself. Well, do it someplace else. What are you doing, you little faggot? <laughs> Get the little God kid. damn it. I'm going to have to kill you. Live on alone. Back off, nigger. Don't call her a nigger. What you say to me, faggot? Don't call her a nigger. You're dead, faggot. Hey, there's a fight over here. Faggot. Drop him, Eddie. Do it, man. Mr. Battaglia. Here we are once again. And Miss Van Adams, why doesn't this surprise me? Didn't they teach you where you came from never to pick on kids weaker than yourself? I wasn't picking on him. Oh, no? Then what were you doing on top of him? I was protecting him. And you expect me to believe that? Why not? And what do you have to say about this young man? Okay. Okay what? Okay. I'll be your friend. <laughs> oh, God. Daddy Poncho! Dad Pinecone. Do you like Diana Ross? I like Maria Callas. Yeah, she's nice, but when I moved to Italy to be a cowboy, I'm taking Diana with me. You can come too. Okay. I bring Maria. Alright. Hey, do you sing? No, but my dad used to. He did? But he doesn't sing anymore. That's too bad. Do you think the tops of trees touch heaven? I don't know. Never been up that high. Have you smoke? No. Do you? No, it's bad for you. My mom says it turns your soul black. What's wrong with the black soul? Nothing. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> Wanna wear my pants? What? You mean switch? Sure, I'll trade you my pants for your skirt. Do you want to? Okay. Come on. This is where we're gonna make the switch. Do we have to go in here? Graveyard's scary. 
where they don't scare me. Come on, Bruno. There's nothing to be afraid of. Stick close to me. I got you covered. You know, cowboys are very good at protecting people. And I'm the best cowboy there is. Don't you worry, Bruno. If anything jumps out at you, I'll get him. And besides, dead people can't hurt you. After they die, they become angels. And angels are nice. Not all of them. How do you know? Have you ever seen one? Yeah. Black? Yeah, lots of them. Are any of the angels black? What? Are any of the angels black? I knew it. Hey, hey, look, that's what we're gonna change. No, not in there. Come on! I hate dresses, except for my communion dress, and that's holy. A holy dress? Mm-hmm. I have dreams about holy dresses. Angels wear them. Those are holy vestments. They are? I have a holy doll. It's an angel. My mother made it for me. I don't like dolls, but I wouldn't mind if it was an angel. What's reason in here? Come on! Now let's go. Hurry up, we had a dog to walk. Why? You gotta make the money. I get an allowance for helping my mom make dresses. That's how I get my money. Do you do? This is Draco. Are you alive? on here. Did you scare my baby? No, baby tried to scare my friend. Oh, don't be afraid, pumpkin. Baby is an angel, aren't you, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure you take them. Come on, baby. Favorite fire hydrant. Uh -huh. Off you go. Okay. There you go. Come on, baby. Okay. Bye, girls. Bye. Hell, baby. <sighs> you can't show fear. They smell it, and then they get scared. That's why he growled. He didn't seem very scared. Well, he was. Here, take the lead. No. If you don't take it, I'm letting go. See, if you don't show fear, you can do anything. Now tell him to lift his leg. Come on in. Now don't you be scared. Wow, is that your mother? Yeah. How old is she? 34. How'd she get so big? Surplusage. What's that? Um, she eats a lot. What does she eat? She's on a diet now. She is? Mm -hmm. She's gonna be skinny real soon. Dead. She is? Mm-hmm. She died of breast cancer. Her name was Boudel. She was beautiful. So then who takes care of you? Your dad? No. My dad is in China. And who takes care of you? My brother Henry. He runs a makeup and hair salon. He likes me to college too. He does? Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. And he owns a Pontiac Firebird. It's magenta. Stick. Like this. Hmm, fierce. Do you think it's okay that I wear dresses? Why not? I wear pants. But that's different. No, it's not. We're both just free spirits trying to express ourselves. Well. This is very flamboyant. I'm a bad angel, not disguised as a cowboy. And I'm a bad
way. Room five's open. Let's go. Move, please. I barely had enough time to hit the brakes. What do you got? 100, 110, BP 80 over 50, 12 rest. Left full of consciousness. Unconscious. OK, prepare to move on my count. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Get us out of here. Blood pressure? It's dropping. Pupils are fixed and dilated. We got a concussion. Is she wearing a wig? Take this off. Get the dress off, too. Oh, it's a little boy. Come on, prep for a CT scan and call radiology on a full cervical and spinal series. Right. Make it portable. Check the oxygen, please. Miss Pataglia? I'm Dr. Pike. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna faint. Watch out! Oh, no. oh, sorry! How is he? He's gonna be okay. Oh my god. Hey. What the hell is that? It's a wig. Thank god he was wearing it. He was wearing a wig? We had to discard the dress. Oh, my God. Well, believe it or not, the wig helped to minimize the boy's injury. Go he on. just has a mild concussion. It's nothing serious. <laughs> Where is he? Can I see him? No, he's resting right now. We want to keep him overnight for observation, but he'll be able to go home in the morning. <clears throat> if you want to see him, you'll be able to, if you don't mind hanging around for a while. OK, thank you. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Do you know? Where in the hell are you going? Home. Listen to me! Get up! Taglia? Is he all right? You can see your son now. Thank you so you much. Want the fourth door on the right, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. My daddy tanned my hide real good because you got hit by that car. I thought you said your dad was in China. Give me another word. Abominable. Abominable. A B O M I N A B L E. Abominable. That is correct.
Does it hurt? Yes. It always does. Kids. Hey Dolores. Well, if it ain't the little resurrected accident victim, how was your brush with death? Fine. Why, did you see God? No, but I saw angels. Did you see my Auntie Francie? No. <laughs> Should he be walking around? He's fine. He's going back to school tomorrow. But I told him he can have an early Easter present. Ooh, a present for surviving death, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to get? Pajamas. And a dress. A dress? He can only wear it in the house and only for a little while because he's getting to be a big boy. Uh-huh. I know lots of big boys who wear dresses. You remember Jose? He was wearing a dress and... Yo, Mr. What? Maserati, how you doing? Uh, you remember Jose? He lived down the street from you and he was... Hold on, Eddie. Hold oh. on. Oh, I see. Well, you know, Jose's colorful. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, everybody likes Jose. He's a great guy. It's okay to Come wear dresses. Dad, let's go. <laughs> hey, Bruno. I think this calls for a little fragrance. What do you say? What is it? Oh, to Celeste. The scent of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> come on, Mom. Let's go find some beauty. Hey, come on. All right. Uh, yeah, in here. You're the yeah, boss. Here. Oh, come yeah, on, Mom. Thanks, Blair. Okay, that should do it. Call if you need anything. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Maybe the one ah. Don't oh. bring it. size. We're gonna have to drape it over. Okay. And you read my mind about the shoulder. Now I got the to... perfect color. Okay. Now we have to make this shorter, and we're gonna make it a flow like this, and then we're gonna cut it on the bias because because that makes it flow better. Okay. And that's the whole point. But I think this is the wrong fabric. Easy. No, but I picked it myself. Now we're gonna need you know more sequins here. That's good. I like that. If we're gonna have this like this and pull this out and put it over there, uh, it's gonna be a lot shorter though. Okay. If we take this and make this part of the wings... Wait, hold just like this. Ooh, that's good. Did Dolores help you pick that up? Welcome to St. Anthony's 58th Annual Spelling Bee. The winner of this bee will go on to compete in the regional competition next month. The winner of the regional will go on to the state competition. The winner of that bee will go to the National Catholic Spelling Championship in Washington, D.C. The winner of the National Catholic Spelling Championship will fly all expenses paid to the Vatican City in Rome where he or she will have a private audience with Pope 
John Paul II. So let's all bow our heads in a silent prayer as our little candidates step onto the stage. enough? All right, that's enough. <laughs> the next one to make a sound will be expelled forever. Expelled from school and heaven forever. Now, will our first contestant please step up to the mic? Our first word is parsimonious as in the Catholic Church is never parsimonious. Parsimonious, P-A-R-S-I-M-O-N-E-U-S, parsimonious. That is incorrect. Now, will the second contestant step up to the microphone? <laughs> What the hell's he doing in a dress? Expressing myself. Besides, it's not a dress, it's a holy vestment. Shut up. No, I will not shut up. I am going to continue to express myself. You say angels help us. Well, I believe that. They give me power with my dresses. Besides, Scotsmen wear dresses. They're called kilts. King Tut wore a skirt as most men in Egypt did. A skirt of tufted wool. The Dalai Lama wears robe dresses, as have all his predecessors. Great charioteers wore short paneled skirts. The Siamese kings wore dresses. The Chinese Emperor Yao wore a pow-styled robe, much like the kimono, but more flared out at the bottom. Now, this was also worn by high-ranking women with fringes at the bottom. That'd be good for you, Mom. Easy. Muslim men wear dresses. Hungarian cowboys wear dresses. Men in Africa wear dresses. Angels wear dresses. Even the Pope wears the dress. All great masters wear dresses. Are you going to call up the Pope and tell him not to wear his dress? He's right. The Pope does wear a dress. You're pathetic. Both of you. Go sit down. You know, I used to think Dino left you for that tramp Donna Marie because you got fat. But you're more than fat. You're insane. You're both insane. Dino did not leave me for that tramp. Oh, yes, he did. He still loves me. No, he doesn't. They're engaged. And nobody loves you, Angela. Nobody. Now, when you go to the regionals, you're going in a suit and tie. Have I made myself clear? He's engaged? I'm going to the regionals? You're going all the way to the Pope. And if you try and do it in a dress, I'll rip it off your sweet little ass myself. Come on, Mom. Let's go, Mom. Gotcha! Happy Easter, Hobo! Come on, Mom! Full ride! Come on, come on! Hey, hey, hey! Okay. It's okay in the car. Start it! Oh, 
Hey, Murph. Tomorrow's my boy's birthday. No kidding. What you getting him? Think about getting him a dress. Any unit respond to six. You gonna be all right? Yeah. Well. Hysterical female driver left scene. 1970 Cadillac, yellow convertible. License plate D I V A. Parked at residence. That sissy singing. Oh, Mom, I want to sing. The angel. No son of mine is going to grow up to be an opera singer. You're going to make something of yourself. Give me my record. No. Give it to me. No, I said. Stop it. Stop what? You're a sissy. I'm not a sissy. You are a sissy. No, don't sissy. say that. Don't call me that. Here you go, ma'am. Where's Dino? Where's my husband? I need Dino. I need him. He's on another call. I need Dino. <laughs> He's back at the station, Angie. I need him, Benny. He didn't want to come. I need him. I tried, honey. Please. You know, Angela, calm down. Please. I tried. I tried. How could you do this to me? You gotta get my husband. You gotta get him. You gotta get my husband. Come, you gotta please. get him. Mrs. Just get him. Please, please. Angela, get my husband. You won't come. You gotta get him. Angela, please. 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 You gotta get my... Angela. Didn't your mommy get your shoes to match the dress? Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Battaglia? She's had a mild heart attack. She's okay, but we're gonna have to keep her here for a little while. About a week. What about the kid? <sighs> Come on. I had enough. Where the hell do you think you're going? Home. What about him? What about him? This boy needs a father, do you know? What the hell would you know about what a little boy needs? Please see my mom. Well, I'm sorry, son. She's sleeping right now. Maybe tomorrow, okay? I'll let you know when she's stable.
Next thing we're gonna do is get you the hell out of that dress. Kid, but don't screw with me. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> Your father's father ran the Star Barber Shop on Market Street. When he died, I had to take over. People came from miles around for one of my haircuts. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a fresh shirt for you and a pair of pants for school tomorrow. Going to school tomorrow? Of course you're going to school tomorrow. It does not matter how many words you know how to spell. There's always more to learn. You're going to make something of yourself. Good night. Good night. Breakfast will be on the table in the morning. I'll see you after school. What are you doing here? Well, your kid, he didn't come home from school today. He's not at Angela's house. He's not at my house. I thought maybe you would know where he would be. Try looking in the girls' apartment at Levy Brothers. Don't be a smart ass. I need your help. Why should I help? Because he's your boy. He's a sissy! That's what he is. He's a, he's a goddamn little sissy. Just like me. Remember? You're not a sissy, Dino. Find him yourself. You're looking good. Thanks. How are you feeling? Fine. Anything I can get for you? No. So what's the doctor say when you're getting out of here? I don't know, next week. Mm-hmm. So has Bruno been around? Not today yet. Where does the kid like to hang out in case he's sad or something, you know? He doesn't hang out anywhere. He stays at home. Okay, gotta go. Helen, I'm letting go of Dino. 
I'm letting go of your son. Helen, I mean it. Okay, kid? Yeah. Go ahead. Now, does anybody here know a Bruno Battaglia? Who wants to know? Never mind. Has anybody seen him lately? What's it to you, Butch? Listen, you <laughs> shitty dickhead. I asked you a question. No, I haven't seen him. What is your name, kid? Eddie Maserati. Well, Eddie Maserati, if you should happen to see Bruno Battaglia, you tell him Helen is looking for him. You got it? Have you got it? Yes. Okay, who's next? Run, run, oh, run! God. Guys, get me down from here! Come on, kid, let's go home. Come on. Why do you want to be a little girl? I want to be a little girl. What do you want to be, then? An etymologist. What the hell is that? A scientist of the derivation of words as to the history of logistic forms. Whatever. Um, why do you want to wear these dresses? Well, they're not dresses. They're holy vestments. They give me power. What kind of power? Well, the kind of power that you have. The power to be me. But when you wear these holy vestment dresses, people want to kill you. I don't care. You don't care? No. I'm not afraid of death. You're not? No. Hmm. I like that. That I like. You know, for a little boy who wears dresses, you got a hell of a set of balls, kid. I know. Shot of whiskey. Okay. Okay.
Here's to you wearing your holy dresses and to being you, whatever the hell that might be. Cheers. Cheers. if I smoke? No. But it's gonna turn so black. Whatever. Listen, if you're gonna continue wearing dresses, you and I are gonna have to teach you how to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. The point of this game is that you're supposed to hit me before I hit you. Okay? Have you got it? Well, put up your dukes! Van Adams. Where are your parents? Well, my mommy's dead, and my daddy lives in Afghanistan. Well, who takes care of you? My brother, Henry. He likes to be a cow. Oh, he's one of us. <laughs> oh. You're big. The more glitter, the better. It's very Diana. No, if we're gonna do Diana, we're gonna do Diana thing. The more glitter, the more glamour. <laughs> Miss Ross, eat your heart out. Hand me another needle and give me the buttonhole thread. Mom, I have to sew the zipper on by hand. Careful of the secrets, Ellen. You're gonna cut the fabric on the cross grain or the grain? Cross grain. Good, I can get a cross grain. We have to make every single buck I've invested pay off. Oh, this hat's just never going to do. Hmm. I wonder if I should relax that wig. You like the wig, Bruno? Bruno, what do you think of the wig? It's good. I think we better tease it higher. Good. Fluff it. OK. Good afternoon. And welcome to the Manhattan competition of the 33rd Annual National Catholic Spelling Championship. All of our little boys and girls have worked very hard to represent their schools, and we are very proud of them. But only one from this district will get to go on to compete in the state competition next week. So, let's give a warm round of applause to the smartest little girls and boys from District 79. Don't do to him what I did to you. He wants to sing. Let him. Let your son sing. What the heck do you think you're doing? Whoa! Come over here. Whoa! Let him go. 
go. I said let him go. If you don't let him go, you better start praying, sister. Now, for those of you who don't know it, this is a little boy. A little boy in a dress. Anybody got a problem with that can leave. Please have my wig back now. Give the kid his hair. Sometimes when you least expect it, a miracle happens and people become elucidated. They understand. Now let's start this friggin' beat. <laughs> Will the first contestant please stand up? Bruno, wait. Just a few questions for the public. Make it quick. Bruno, why do you wear a dress? Don't tell him. I'll just be able to win in a dress. Yeah, great. All right. You plan to wear a dress for the next one. That's enough of that. Bruno, one photo. All right, one photo. Hold up the trophy. Yeah, you know. Uh, higher, kid. Higher. Show them what you're made of, kid. Great. That's it. Are you from Mark Copy? No. Oh, God help me. We need to make it royal. Ma more more meretricious. More, yeah, more of that. And yeah. more regal and more royal, too. That's what I said. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you gotta make sure it's clean. Sovereign. <laughs> Splendid, like you, Helen. I'm curious. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. <laughs> Super. Lavish. You Outrageous. <laughs> I crown the Bruno, queen of the bees. Bruno rules. Here they come! Bruno, where's your father? Get in with the family. Bruno! Are you ready for fame, kid? Well, it's ready for you. Let's move. Out of the way of the kid. Don't mess with the kid or the dress. Are you from hard copy? Watch out. Give us the room. Do this. I'm standing here with Bruno Battaglia, the eight-year-old cross-dressing spelling bee champion, dressed like a queen, formerly from Queens, and some might say he is a little queen. Nope. Okay, well, Bruno, can you at least tell us how did you come to want to wear dresses? Uh, well, it came to me in a dream. Could you describe this dream for us? Uh, no. This is Battaglia! What's it like seeing your son in drag? I think there's absolute beauty. He looks a hell of a lot better than you do. You win without the dress, Bruno. Bruno, aren't you afraid of what might happen to you if you keep wearing dresses? No. Kid, what if you lose? Will you continue to wear dresses? Well, I'm not gonna lose. Yeah, that's Where's your father? No. You don't ask that kind of question. That's private. Well, what about the planned protest? The religious right says they're going to form a human barricade in Washington to stop you. Nope, nobody's gonna stop us. Nobody. Get that clear. <laughs> hey, Bruno, are you gay? I said, are you gay? You know what I taught you? Go get the little dickhead. <laughs> Sheila 
Rabondo Fire reporting that Bruno Battaglia has just won the right to go all the way to Washington, D.C. in a dress. Bob and Sue, back to you. this way. Sister Mary Bibiana will show you in. She has seats for all of you. But you come with me, Bruno. Come along, then. Spelling competition. We have with us today 20 of the top Catholic spellers from all over the country. Only one will win an all expense paid trip to the Vatican City in Rome and his private audience with Pope John Paul II. So have a warm welcome for all of our contestants. Okay, everybody get back in line. Okay, here we go. Yay! Will the first contestant please step up to the microphone? The first word is feliciform. Feliciform. Definition, please. Shaped like a fern or fern frond. Can I have the language of origin? Latin. Can you repeat it? Feliciform. Feliciform. F E L I C I F O R M. Feliciform. That's incorrect. Feliciform is F-I-L-I-C-I-F-O-R-M. Next contestant. Penury. 
Does this word mean poverty? Or scantiness. Would you please use it in a sentence? Emma could not understand why Jane chose the mortification of Mrs. Elton's notice and the penury of her conversation rather than return to those who loved her with real generous affection. Um, penury. P E N U R Y. Penury. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Next contestant. Is that the correct pronunciation? Uh, next contestant. Y. Vivify. That's incorrect. N I O R. Next contestant. Lady Hosen. the definition? Knee-length leather trousers worn especially in Bavaria? That is incorrect. Can I hear this word correctly? Repetition of the word. E. S. That's my pronunciation. C. E. Could you repeat the word? Acquiesce. That's incorrect. Next contestant. Tiflology. Tiflology. May I please have the definition? Tiflology is the scientific study of blindness. Would you use it in a sentence? Researchers in Tiflology have found that certain nutritional deficiencies can result in the clouding and softening of the cornea. Am I hearing this word correctly? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. T Y P H L O G Y Tiflology. That is incorrect. Tiflology is T Y P H L O L O G Y. <laughs> Final contestant, please. If Bruno Battaglia spells this word correctly, he will be the winner and champion of the 33rd Annual National Catholic Spelling Competition. The word is melanochamous. Melanochamous? Having dark or black hair. Melanochamous. 
Yeah. Could you please use that in a sentence? From Greenland all the way to Polynesia, we've encountered nothing but melanocomous people. Melanocomous? Can I please have the language of origin? Greek. Can I please have the part of speech? This is an adjective. Melanocomous. M E L A N Can I please uh can you please tell me where I left off? You may start over again if you like. I'll start over. M-O-U-S, Melanocomus. That is correct. <laughs> Get to wear the sash. Mm -hmm. I sewed that myself. Yeah, hug. See you, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Go. Uh, thanks, Helen. Come on, we're going to Do no way. I want to give you this. You look fierce. Please have a moment alone with my dad.
Just wanted to say good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be here when you get back. All right. Sometimes when we feel we're being chased in our nightmares, we find we're really just chasing ourselves. I used to have a dream I was being chased by an angel. Protected or sanctified by the favor of God. Voice. The sound produced by the vocal organs of a vertebrate, especially those of a human being. A medium or agency of expression. The right or opportunity to express a choice or opinion. Beauty. A pleasing quality associated with harmony of form or color. Excellence of craftsmanship, truthfulness, originality, or another often unspecifiable property. Fat, the glyceride ester of a fatty acid, a solidified animal or vegetable oil, plumpness or obesity, the best or most desirable part of something, having much too much fat or flesh, plump or obese abounding in desirable elements. Friend, a person whom one knows, likes, and trusts. A person with whom one is allied in a struggle or cause, a comrade. One who supports, sympathizes with, or patronizes a group, cause, or movement. Heaven. The sky or universe as seen from Earth, the abode of God, the angels, and the souls of those who are granted salvation. Parent, a father or mother, a guardian, protector. 
victim, one who was made to suffer loss. None, a woman who belongs to a religious order devoted to religious service or meditation, usually under vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Strange, unusual, curious, odd. Abominable, thoroughly unpleasant or disagreeable. Virtue, moral excellence and righteousness. Goodness, chastity, especially of a girl or woman, a particularly efficacious, good, or beneficial quality. Advantage, one of the orders of angels. Deviate, to turn or move increasingly away from a specified course or prescribed mode of behavior. Quandary, a state of perplexity, a difficult situation. Pope, the Bishop of Rome and the head of the Roman Catholic Church, acting as Vicar of Christ on Earth, a figure considered to have unquestioned authority. Unique, being the only one of its kind, being without an equal or equivalent, unparalleled. Mother, a female parent. Freak, an unusual object, product, animal, or person on exhibition as an example of a strange deviation. A sudden and apparently costless change or turn of events. A person of unwitting courage and bravery. A rebel. A wonder, an angel.